I want to take a minute to lay the foundation for our conversation about an ICD. A defibrillator is an important part of our management of advanced heart failure, but it can be confusing to the patient. The way I want you to think about it is think about it like this. If I have 100 patients just like you, in the next five years, 30 of them will pass away of non-heart-related causes. That could be something as simple as an accident, cancer, a fall, another malignancy that could be affecting their body. Something beyond their heart will kill them. Of the 70 that don't die of that, seven could have their life saved by a defibrillator. The challenge is we don't know who those seven are. We have no way of identifying them beforehand. So we put devices in 70 patients to save those seven. And what's critical to understand is, of those 70, about 10 will have a complication related to their device. Uh, a lead infection, a pocket infection, a lead fracture, and about 10 will have the device go off when it's not, ex when it's not expected to, have a false discharge which can cause stress, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. I know it's confusing to understand, but we end up jeopardizing 20 of that 70 to save seven of those 70. So it's not a very simple decision, but it's important we start with this foundation of understanding. We'll talk more about this in detail in clinic, but I wanted you to have this introduction to make our conversation more useful when I see you in clinic.